Hey guys, look at my glasses. Yeah. So what's up? Um, you know, I've been going through so much. I love these glasses, aren't they cute? I got them up in dairy. A video before, which I'm gonna have to upload late because, um, yeah, it won't upload. So, uh, this here is gonna be before the video I made before I left the dog. Well, I didn't bring with the dog there, but I'm with the dog in the video. And uh, yeah, the new dog. Phoebe. Anyway, so, yeah. I'm going to take these off. Do I look? I think I look better with hmm. I think the hair suits the... Anyway, okay. So, you guys, anyway, go on again. Um, so, I was with my mum today. And I decided, well, there's this new anime thingy coming out. I think it's a new anime. I forget what it's called, but there was a photo of a girl. And it's loads of photos of actually of the girl. Of the anime girl. Like, I get my book out and try and show you something. Right. So I drew it. And when I was like, that's quite good, to be honest. And I'm like, really? You think so? And they're like, yeah. Um, so, so, if you can see it. She's like, she's like lying on the stairs. Okay, the stairs aren't that good, okay. And neither is the drawing, like, but I, I tried it anyway. And that hair, the, the black bits, yeah. And then the rest of the hair that's white is meant to be um red. But I didn't have my colored pencils today, so. Or my pens or whatever. So, yeah. So, I'm quite happy with it. And then I have to draw my sister's tattoo. Because she ideas for a tattoo. So I was like, I'll give you an idea. I'll give you ideas for a tattoo. And I'm just taking up. Oh well. Don't mind. I like messy. I like messy. Um see so yeah, my sister um wants a tattoo, which is a bow thing, and she likes these three ideas. Three. And so uh I think like, I'll draw some for you and then I like mix it up and all but then she's like thank you so she gave me sent me these photos that she took off the tattoos that she wants and then i'm gonna mix them match them now get them in this year yeah so guys i'm writing a new story i called it um uh white fangs i think yeah white fangs it is awesome and the guy it's of course you can tell white fangs are vampires so um yeah I'm obsessed with that person. And I would like to read you some because I'm a dork. I know it. No, I'm joking. I just want to read you some because <clears throat> uh, some people say it's actually quite good. And uh, I'll tell you some of the characters' names. One character, the main character girl, is Maria. Her boyfriend is Sean. Her friend is called Sky. And her boyfriend is Andrew. Isn't it? Andrew. And uh, there's a guy in there, and he's, he's a DJ, and his name's DJ Flip, and his real name's Tommy. Um, these are the characters so far. And then she's got a best friend, well, a, yeah, best friend, and his name is, what's his name again? Jason. His name's Jason, yep. And, uh, yeah, there's a girl in it who's in it for uh, just a couple of seconds, and her name is, what's her name? Her name, her name? Sarah. Her name's Sarah. And yeah. It's, I think it's Yeah, I think it's okay. It's good. Um I think I I'm gonna read you some of it, like the very first bit. That's how I start mine off. I start mine off really weird. Okay. Really weird. So uh, this is my story. Sorry about the rattling guys. If you hear that, it's freaking I hated that. Anyway, here's my story. White fangs. <coughs> Now, I apologize for my voice because I know, yeah. Anyway, I know it's weird shit, but well, anyway, you'll live. <laughs> okay. As Maria and Sean walked into the massive park, seeing all the people dancing, some very sexy dancing, others were go just going nuts. Maria grabbed Sean's arm tightly and he looked into her eyes, knowing she had a question. Sean, how many of these people are vampires? She whispered. The last were. Oh, she whispered the last word. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm sorry about this. Half. Every vampire here has bought a human or another vampire. 
maybe more than half. His smile widened, giving her a chill down her spine. It's okay, I'm with you. I'll protect you. He smiled and kissed her forehead, cheek, and then her lips. He pulled her body super close, like a jigsaw piece. Andrew tapped them on the shoulder, sky still on his arm. Sorry to break this up, but we are here to dance and make out, not just make out. He smiled. Him and Sky laughed. Um, oh, that makes no sense. I'm sorry. All right, man, let's go. Girls, be careful, he warned. Then they cried, pushing past couples who were ready for their bedrooms, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Some girls were flicking their hair madly, and others were dancing to the techno beat. So guys, to be honest, this is a festival, and it's full of rave and vampires and shit. So. Anyway. Um, there were two massive screens with pictures of flashing horror movie characters. Don't ask me why I picked horror movie characters. I guess it's the songs that are mixed up with, you know, because they're vampires. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, and... And many different colours flashing. flashing. People screamed in happiness with the fast beaty, beaty tunes and lights went, and the lights went mad. There was a DJ moving his head to the music, and even at a far distance, you could see he was sweating. He let a, a song play on for a moment as he pulled off his shirt. Yep, he was a vampire. That white skin that looked like paper was unmistakable. Maria couldn't help look at his abs moving when he pumped his body to the beat. Then he slipped on a cap and slid it to the side, messing his dirty, dirty blonde hair. Sorry, a second. All right. But making him look irresistible. He flashed a smile right in Maria's direction. And it shocked her. And she thought for a moment, thought for a moment, he heard her in her head. He stared at her for a moment, his green eyes bright. Sean pulled her closer to the front, breaking the DJs on her stir. As she passed, pushed past many people, she thought about that smile. Then stopped at the perfect spot in the in the middle, right in front of the stage. Many people, hopefully all guys, smacked her ass or grabbed it. That's the usual thing that happens. Um, uh, and she got closer to Sean, who was dancing really close to her. She felt embarrassed, but soon... Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. It smacked her ass or grabbed it, making her jump. And she got closer to Sean, who was dancing already. There we go. Uh, he moved really close to her. She felt embarrassed, but Sean grabbed her waist and moved it. Soon, she was dancing herself. And she felt free and overcome with excitement. Sean moved in and kissed her while dancing. She had to go on her tiptoes to reach his lips, lips halfway. As they kissed, Maria opened her eyes and seen the DJ's eyes on her. His green eyes full of full of excitement. <clears throat> his green eyes full of uh, can't say it, full of excitement. Then his smile. Then he smiled at her. And her heart melted. Sean pulled away for a breath, and the DJ stepped down off his stand and talked to one of the bodyguards. Then went back to his stand. People seen this, but just danced on. Then the DJ turned down the music and spoke. How are we all doing? The reply was uh, screams and whistles, and people jumping. Okay, but I have a surprise. I have chosen three ladies to come backstage and get prizes. All the girls screamed, and DJ. D and the DJ smiled and chuckled. He looked about 20 and definitely a vampire. People continued screaming until he rose the mic to his mouth again. You, he said, and pointed at the back. Oh, pointed to the girl at the back. I'm sorry, guys. I'm really bad. I can't concentrate properly. Like I'm, mm. Anyway. Um, she, she was blonde and was only covering her breast with a bit of fabric that went around her like a headband you would wear to the gym. 
Het laag pleated miniskirt with knee high socks and heels he worked it. She stumbled off out of the crowd and the bodyguard guard brought her up to the stage. The DJ stared at her for a moment and smiled. What's your name, sweetheart? Closer to her and wrapped an arm around her, making her flinch with his cold touch. Then he put the mic to her mouth. I'm Sarah, she smiled. Beautiful red lips and white teeth. Um, beautiful name, he flirted, sliding his fingers from her ribs to her hip, then lifted his hand and looked off to the crowd. You, sweetheart, he said, pointing again. A man behind Maria whispered something. Andrew, just let me go. I'll be fine, she said. Maria turned round to see Sky giving Andrew a kiss and she walked towards the stage. I walked to the stage, sorry. Sky's dress was tight and black, with long sleeves that were slit, making them flowy. And her dress was short, showing off her long, beautiful long legs. What's your name, sweetheart? He smiled. My name's Sky. She smiled. His hand was also on Sky's side. He slid his fingers again and kissed her cheek. Beautiful name for a gorgeous girl. He said, Then, then he looked into the crowd, searching. Maria got very nervous suddenly and squeezed Sean's hand. His eyes flickered to hers and his eyes widened when the man pointed and said, You too, sweetheart. That finger was pointed at Maria. Ooh. I don't know. Actually, I might just go on. Well, it's a bit long. I'll go on. Uh, Sean's grasp tightened and Maria moved forward. No, he whispered. I need to. She shook him off and walked over to the bodyguard. She bit her lip as she walked up the steps. She was wearing a white mini dress, which was tight, long sleeves, which had tight, long sleeves, and the dress was netted with a thick piece of fabric underneath. And she was wearing white heels, and she was wearing white heels. The DJ grabbed her hand and helped her onto the stage. Thank you, she smiled. The lights on the stage were bright, but Maria could still see Sean and Andrew, their expressions a mixture between anger and worry. Their eyes met hers, and she suddenly felt sick. What's your name, honey? he asked again. She felt a lump in her throat, coughed, and spoke. I'm Maria, she smiled, and looked into his eyes, the green colour really bright. And his pupils became bigger. All these girls have beautiful one. Give them a round of applause. Everyone screamed and clapped. The DJ chuckled again, then turned to the girls. Maria noticed that all of them had different coloured hair. The first girl was blonde, Sky was black, Sky's hair was black, and Maria's was brown. He sniffed the hair and then saying VIP backstage pass. He smiled and gestured them towards the backstage. He kissed their hands as they walked past. Then another DJ walked out. Everyone, I must be going, but here is another DJ. DJ. Oh, another amazing DJ, sorry. Next, of course. DJ Swish. The man came out, shook the other's hand, and started the music. Immediately, the DJ came over to the girl. DJ Flip. DJ Swish shouted in the mic. DJ flipped, walked out, bowed, showed his back muscles in full tense, and then went back to the girls. Okay, ladies, this. Okay, ladies, sorry. Okay, ladies, this was a question. The girls nodded and he gestured them forward. Here we are, he smiled. Sky grabbed Maria's hand tightly. My dressing room, ladies. He opened the door and they entered. There was a sharp smell and then darkness. Ooh. <laughs> um, I, should I go on? Should I go on? Should I go on? I'll go on until Jason comes into it because I like Jason. <laughs> Let me just I'll do a break from it. Break from it. I need to find this one. I found it. Okay. Ready? Now you'll know. When Maria opened her eyes, she seen Sky on the floor, a vamp on her neck. <laughs> uh. Um, she looked across the room, and the blonde haired girl was being bit by the vampire, by two vampires. Sorry, one on her neck, and the other on her side. 
It was weird, because they usually went for the wrist. Maria moved a bit, and DJ Flip came to sit with her. We won't kill you girls, but you may be weak when I'm finished. He smiled and licked his, her neck. I'm shaking, I'm sorry, my, my hands are terrible too. Um, and licked her neck. It wasn't the time, but that was the sexiest thing a guy did to her. She, she knew she was already bitten, because the beautiful white dress was red and white, like a Christmas candy cane. DJ Flip buried his teeth to show fangs. Oh, negative, he signed. My favourite. But I think you must be going now. His fangs disappeared behind his lips. I hope to see you again, Miss Maria. He smiled, showing them again. She shivered, unable to move. What about Sky and Sarah? She whispered. Boys, enough. These young ladies need to go. He was very serious, which frightened her. But he turned back to her and whispered in her ear. I will be seeing you soon, sweetheart, and I will t- and I'll take you somewhere, somewhere special. No biting, I promise, unless you want me to. Again, he licked her neck slowly. I like you more than others. He kissed her neck and then her lips. Ooh. Because of my blood, my blood type, she said. He responds with uh, a sweet yet scary smile. You and your friends can go. He stood up, bowed, and went over to the mirror. Maria could see herself in the mirror. She looked dead. Her makeup messed, and she looked like a walking blood bag. Sky was already on her feet, looking whiter than ever. She held her hand out and helped Maria up. Here, DJ Flip said, giving them big band aids. I think they're band aids anyway, that's what you call them. Sky put hers on, but Maria struggled. Just then, a pair of white hands covered hers, slipping the band aid out of her hand. <coughs> she looked up to see Jason, a friend of hers, and the others, and the others. He just got through the door because a bodyguard was rushing in after him. It's okay. He's here for the ladies. DJ Flip smiled. Jason slipped slipped the bandage packet off and stuck it on her neck. Then he hugged her. You're okay? He asked, muffled in her hair. Yes, she whispered, realising that all she could do... Oh, that's louder. Good, he said. Then he hugged Sky and asked her the same. Maria looked to Sarah and found her getting up, falling each time she stood, and the man seemed worried for her. He scooped her up in his arms, whispered to her, and left before Maria could blink. It was like a spam or something. And in skies and left. Second time I was bitten at one of these things, Sky shouted when they were out in the street. Really? God, I was turned at this thing. Only back in that time, it wasn't that type of music. It was... So much more dance here. He laughed. Hey man, that music you don't dance to. You go crazy to it. Sky laughed. Guys, I don't feel so good. Maria said, sinking into the neighbor's lawn to her knees. Maria, Jason said. Hey, the house is right there. Jason rubbed her back as he seen a total sickness come over her. I'll carry you, he said. He touched me at her jump. Her legs were bare. Mixed up her up. Sorry, guys. You're doing well. You're doing well with the blood. She smiled. Yeah, it's killing me. Oh, wait, I'm dead. He laughed and made her laugh. Still a piece. This is almost the end of this part, guys. Have you ever been bitten before? Jason asked as he began walking. No, she said, a sound of disgust in her voice. Oh, he sounded hurt about the way she said it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that in a horrible way. I meant no, I, because I'm usually quite careful, but, well, I was kind of reckless. She moaned, thumping her head against his chest. Ow! he joked, knowing she knew it didn't hurt. This, you were just being human. Even vampires need some time away from their from being vampires. It's just there's always... One of our group who have to ruin everyone else's fun. He said the words. He said the words carefully, which was somehow soothing to Maria. Sky was way in front and was turning into the house. I know that the same as when I was in school. I know that's 
No, 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 that was the same when I was in school, Maria said after a break. She kept her head in his chest, hearing the breaths he was taking in, but not his heartbeat. It wasn't there. Look, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Sorry, oh my god. By the way, guys, there is some language. Look, I don't give a shit. They nibbled on your neck, and not in a nice way. Sean yelled at Maria as she kept her hands in her, no, her head in her hands. Leave it, she shouted. Fuck. Oh. Anyway, leave it, she shouted. Back, everyone in the living room stopped what they were doing. Did they play with your head or something? I was going to say, mine, head, mine, head, I don't know. Head or something? He shouted, no, I'm in the right mind, you got it? She lifted it, then stood up. And went upstairs. Jason followed her. Maria. Maria, he said, as the door slammed shut. Maria sank to the floor and covered her face again with her hands. Maria, I'm coming in. And that's all I got to guys. Of course, I did write in, like, um, ideas I have. Like, one, and it's about the two girls. What's her name? Um, Sky and Maria. And they drink vampire blood. Mm. And completely wrong, like their personality change to something that they're not, like Maria.